Snowboarding first appeared late in the 1960s after being banned from ski resorts for its rebellious nature. It took many years after snowboarding started to become accepted as, as a sport socially and professionally. It wasn't until the, the 1980s that the sport became popular. At this time, those who really wanted to practice snowboarding had no choice but to head to the backcountry. Backcountry snowboarding is snowboarding outside of ski resort boundaries, ranging from simply hiking out of bounds at a winter resort to a multi-day backpacking trip involving helicopters, snowcats, snow camping, and technical climbing. Hiking methods into the backcountry include snowshoes, the most common way of hiking through snow, but the hiker has to carry the board on his back, then remember to ride down with the snowshoes. Split boards, a specialized snowboard that splits into two skis for hiking up the mountain, then is rejoined to one board to descend the mountain on. Split boards have a huge advantage in that the hiker does not have to carry any extra weight. Approach skis, short skis designed for ascending a mountain, more efficient than snowshoes, but still must be carried down. Backcountry hazards are far more extreme than snowboarding at a resort. By leaving the safety of a groomed, patrolled, and avalanche-controlled ski area, the threats are all greater. The biggest danger that backcountry snowboarders face are avalanches. Popular places to go backcountry snowboarding include in Europe, Tinders, France, Sevier Chenlier, France, Vibier, Switzerland, and Coromore, Italy, and the Swiss Alps. In Asia, Nanisco, Japan, and the Himalaya Mountain Range in India and Nepal. In the United States, Jackson Hole, Wyoming, Mount Baker, Washington, and Wrangell St. Ellis Mountains in Alaska and Tahoe, California. Jeremy Jones is a professional snowboarder known for being the face of big mountain free riding. He lives in Tahoe, California. He is sponsored by six brands including O'Neill and Cliff Bar. He's the founder of his own splitboard company called Jones. He has three movies about his adventures of splitboarding up mountains all over the world and snowboarding down. In 2012, he won the Adventure of the Year prize from Nat Geo. Ellen Bell is a pro snowboarder who grew up in Alaska who now rides down Squaw Valley in Lake Tahoe, California. He currently has 10 sponsorships including Jones Snowboards and Patagonia. Bell was featured in all three of Jones' movies. Jeremy taught Ryland how to ride the mountains and is now one of the world's top elite big mountain snowboarders. Brian Aguchi is a professional snowboarder who started out with a love of surfing and as a sponsored skateboarder at the age of 13. At the age of 15, his family traveled away from the beach and ended up in Bayview, California, where he fell in love with surfing on the snow. Now, at the age of 43, he travels across the globe to snowboard down some of the most extreme mountains and has many appearances in widely distributed snowboarding clubs. Annie Bulanger is one of the few women to be ranked as the world's top 10 best snowboarders. At number 9, she's a professional surfer and snowboarder who, after two serious injuries, she soon realized that snowboarding was more than contests and trips. She now spends her time in the backcountry taking the road less traveled.